Hello, Serge here from the back porch. I'm on, today I want to discuss, I guess we're still staying on wrist cock hinging and all that other stuff because it's such an important concept of the golf swing and unfortunately it's so, mis, it's so terribly misunderstood uh, basically from a standpoint of what's being taught to the majority of folks and, and as well as, as, as what it really is. And we got a comment from Robert F. And Robert S. says, we certainly think that all golf instructors should learn Don's golf swing and stop torturing people with movements that the human body isn't meant to be making with great energy. And again, that comes back to what I've been saying about all these differing views about almost any subject you want about the golf swing. There's, there's basically, as I like to say, if we have a street here, uh, I'm over here on this side of the street, and on that side of the street is everybody else. And so, uh, and most of you uh, would love to be able to find a, an instructor, a certified swing instructor close to you, so you could get hands-on training because, as you've heard me say at golf schools and everything else, many of you have improved your swing a lot. And I've seen it at golf schools and in private lessons that people come to me, and, and you are making what you think is a pretty close to, to good or perfect surge swing, but yet what do I consistently see? Still way too much turn in the backswing and still way too much turn in the finish in most cases. And so, but yet you're still hitting the ball better. So if, if we're still seeing, if I'm still seeing and my certified instructors are seeing too much turn, how much were most of you making before that? All right, so again, if you, if you, can, you can help out, get, get, uh, stamp out this, so to speak, bad instruction all over the world by telling your golf pros that you know that you'll take lessons from them if you have, if they'll learn to search swing. And as I said, the teacher certification site is up on a program is up on the website. It can be all done online. So no matter where you are in the United States, Canada, the, the world, that your, your golf pros can take it online. It's 16 continuing education credits uh, that the PGA of America will give because we all, all PGA pros and pros from all other countries have education programs that, that, that are honored by uh, anything that they learn from that, that's certified by the PGA of America. And, and we have to get these credits and they'll learn it. And at the same time, we're, we're helping to save hopefully millions more golfers from, from bad swings, bad mental attitudes because they shoot lousy scores and their bodies are killing them and maybe even having to quit the game. So with that, with that, with that public service announcement here, I want to go on and Robert Mead answered Robert F's comment about the torture and he said this, he said, have a seat at the kitchen table if you will. Lay your hands in front of you and while you're laying, on the, laying them on the table, Put, put them together in a neutral grip position without a club. I think what he's saying is, and if you can imagine that I'm on a table, that I have a table here, and I'm laying my elbows on the table, I'm putting them together in a neutral grip. All right? Now he's saying, now, he said, now simply rotate your hands to the right until the back of your right hand is on the table. So you're standing here holding the club, and you're going, and you're going to rotate, and the back of my right hand is on the table. Okay? Notice how it looks like your wrists are cocked. Now slowly rotate your hand back over to the left until the back of your left hand is on the table. Now notice what's happening here. When you get your left hand on the table, the right, one, the right arm and hand came off the table just as this way they came up a little bit. All right, now that's an over-exaggeration because why? We're rolling it basically, each hand's rolling completely from up to down total pronation and supination. As you can see, they're doing the opposite. But in the golf swing, when we go back, we're going to come back and they're pretty much going to go up together here, and then they're going to go up together on that side, not go all the way to there, because that would cause a, a hook for a right-handed golfer. But he's, you notice, he says, notice how it looks like you just uncocked your hands. All you did was rotate your hands and forearm to the right side. That's how they look at the top of a good swing, thumbs up, and then you rotated your hands and forearms to the left, that's how they look after release, thumbs up, again, as you complete your follow through. That is how Surge, DJ, and players like Steve Stricter and JB Holmes play without wrist cock and still have lots of lag and power release. Right, again, you can see how it's going there when you do that on a table, but now we change that to the swing, and you can see there's a lot less rotation, because if I, if I rotate it on the table and I went there like that, now you see why people are getting flattened inside, because they're doing what? And when they start to lift, whatever lift up they do, and they're getting this hand to what I call the deliver pizza position, uh, they, they say this is not a flying right elbow when your right arm is right angled to the ground. But if it's up here like we say, like I like, they call that a flying right elbow. There is not, there is now. Years ago, 
that both of those positions were flying right elbows because they wanted them close, like the towels and handkerchiefs and the golf gloves under your arms. And so they allow her to move away now, but this, but as you notice, as soon as you, as soon as you, see if I rotate to there, uh, like on the table, and I just swing to there, it's flattened inside. And that's what most of the rotational players are doing. They, they, get, they have their backhand up, they're going here, and then they rotate it. So Robert's making a good point there, but we're only going to rotate to here. Limited turn and basically limited rotation. We're, we're doing just what we do to control the club face to hit square shots. So if I get here, I'm in the mitt, up the tree, I come down to impact, I'm at impact, and then once I go into the forward mitt, it rotates to there because again, if I, if I had my hands here and rotated to there and put the club there, like I was, my arms are still on the table, the club's way shut and the ball's gonna start left and go and curve a lot more to the left, so we only go to there. So the table drill is the over-exaggeration that, that, Roger, that, that uh, Robert showed us. We only, do, we only do about a quarter of that rotation. Limited turn, three-quarter backswing is also limited rotation. Toe up, thumbs up, toe up and thumbs up, and then when we turn around and hit it the other direction, impact is square, thumbs are down to the ground, then they go into the club, into the catcher's mitt, toe up, ricochets off the tree, and we go thumbs up and then over the shoulder. So we have a very controlled rotation, and that's, and it's rotation is what release is. The proper release of the club is, is squirting up an impact into the toe, into the mid toe up. So I think that, I think Robert's idea of looking at the table and looking at it is a great idea. It's an over-exaggeration because we have to limit that turn toe up to toe up, or as he also mentioned, thumbs up at the top of the back swing, thumbs up in the forward swing, and then the thumbs go over the shoulder, then recoil and relax, and the thumbs are pointing at the target with the club, with the club shaft to prove that you swung at and finished at the target. Okay? Do that, you'll be hitting it more solid and straight, likely longer, and shooting those lower scores. That's it for the search for today, with the help from Robert on how to possibly get a better picture and understanding of release. Well, that's it, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.